Hi everyone. Today we're going to see how we can deploy the DataWiz Access Broker in front of the Sonotype Nexus Repo Manager to enable single sign-on with Azure Active Directory and to pass user header attributes. We'll first visit console.datawizard.com or the DataWiz Cloud Management Console to create a new deployment. We'll create a deployment and make sure to note down our setup provisioning keys. We'll later use these to place in our Docker Compose YAML file in order to run our Access Broker. We'll create a new application inside our deployment and specify the following parameters. We'll use localhost 9774 as our public domain, which is how users can externally access our application, and 172.17.01 port 8081, which is my local Docker network where my repo manager is running. We'll configure an IDP with Azure by specifying the tenant ID, the client ID, and the client secret. Once this is done, we need to make sure we assign our IDP to our application. We can specify the default behavior or the default action as allow for our rules category, which means that if no other rules are found for our app, we still want to go ahead and allow users access to our repo manager. We can also pass in header attributes using the access broker. Here, we have mapped user principal name from Azure AD to remote user. We still have to configure this expected field on Nexus repo, and we'll do that as soon as we finish running the Access Broker. Once these configurations are set on the DCMC, we'll go ahead and allow our Access Broker to run by setting up our Docker Compose. So we can just say Docker Compose up, and the Access Broker will start to run. We'll now visit our Nexus repo manager which for me is running on port 881. We've already signed in as admin, and we'll go and visit system status. Inside system status, we'll go to the system administration tab and scroll down to capabilities. Inside capabilities, we have to add the rut auth type capability. We need to make sure that this HTTP header name is the same as whatever we configured in the cloud management console. And in this case it is, since both are remote user. Our rut auth realm has to be marked under active, but this should automatically happen once we configure our capability. And finally, under users, we have to make sure we add a user with our specific user ID. The rut auth token will go and check to see if the, if the past and header attribute is already an existing user within the Sonatype Nexus repo manager. So here I've configured a new user with my user principal name from Azure. Once this is done, we can go ahead and sign out and try to sign in using our AD. So we'll visit HTTP localhost 9774. We're prompted to sign in with Azure. And once we sign in, we should see our name for this account. In order to log out, we can go ahead and say AB log out, which will use the access broker and redirect us to sign out of Azure Active Directory. 